and possibly even upgrades that are worth buying. So, so it, yeah, you, you would definitely want to consider coming here. And bearing in mind that we now have, I would say, 24 hours at best, you know, if Beat the Three's on time, we've now got 24 hours left to play this. So you've got 24 hours in which to raise as much, uh, you know, as many credits as you can. This is definitely as good a place as any to try and do that. You know, it's, like I say, it's close to a running. So close to the core systems, it's, uh, What ship is that that's fucking up its landing? I can't quite see. I think it's a Type 9. This station operates a zero no. policy. Um, but yeah, it's, it's close to the core systems. And once you're here, you, you've got bulletin board mission after mission. A lot of the time, paying over 50,000 a time. And there are plenty of, you know, cargo, different uh, commodities that you can trade between the two systems, so even if you don't find a decent number of uh, bulletin board missions, you've still got that, and you know, if you're in something like an ASP with 156 tons of cargo space, you're going to make a killing, I mean, even if you're in a Cobra with 40 tons or 36 tons, as mine was, um, that's still plenty of cargo space and still enough to often be able to do at least one of those missions paying 50, 60, 70,000 credits a time. So do it. What the fucking hell is that? That, that sound is getting on my fucking tits. It's that NPC cannot fucking land to save its life. It is a Type 9. Can't really uh, go and find out any info about it though. Oh well. <laughs> so, I think that brings this video to an end. Um, say no combat but I can live with that and I'm I get the impression so could a lot of you. Um and uh well certainly shown that this is a good place to come to uh make good amount of credits and pretty quickly. So with that in mind and with that uh Poxy fucking Type 9 still unable to dock properly. This is Commander Lucosa signing off.